believe that has to be a resolution passed. Uh, second, if we have, like we had in the jail, which Representative McCarthy mentioned, when we have a person who has a heart surgery of $65,000, we need some flexibility to be able to pay that bill. Even though we don't like to pay it, we have to pay it, and it has to come out somewhere. Um, I would hate to see us restricted to a line item. On the other hand, if the commissioners have the responsibility to control the line item within different departments, even those that are elected officials, then I might be inclined to support that. I, I think the uh, the RSA is quite specific where, it, you know, it, it specifically states that the county convention may, it's up to them, That's correct. but it says they may require the commissioners to get permission to transfer an appropriation. It doesn't specifically give uh, an amount, um, and I... Maybe you don't need an amount in there for the commissioner's part of it. But you, I think the $1,000 limit on anything below the commissioner's should be there. Okay, we have a motion on the floor for a uh, adopt a resolution made by Representative McCarthy and seconded by Representative Jackson. Uh, we have any more discussion? Is everyone done discussing? Okay. I'd like to offer a motion of higher order. Okay. Uh, with great respect, with tremendous, in fact, respect to <coughs> Representative McCarthy's motion, I believe that it is in order to table his motion at this time so we might further set up the subcommittee as representative, as mentioned by Representative Umberger, and so and and make those authorizations to the county attorney or the state's attorney. So we can get some more information about what we can do. What we can do. Okay, and I would like to um, to add that we also look to New Hampshire Association of Counties. We um, can pay them some big bucks if it's not. Uh, if we go to the AG, we're going to get a note. Okay. Just so I, I'm clear on what you want to do. You want to form a subcommittee. Subcommittee in turn. Frame the questions to be referred to the county assertion to whatever. whatever. To whoever. To whoever. Where we will get a legal, legally binding interpretation of the RSS. Is that? Madam Chair, my the motion is already on the table. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. The table. It officially, it was just a uh, motion to table which would only require a majority vote by the delegation to remove from the table, and that it could be done at any time during one of our regularly scheduled meetings, and I'm assuming we're going to have one and we would, we fairly would. soon. The other things are subsequent to that. You know, that would take a separate discussion. Okay. One of the things is, is that tabling is an open for discussion, so right. if we right. table it, the intention is to have uh, further discussion after the motion has been adopted. Representative McCarthy, it's not open for discussion. What we'll do is do the motion to table. If you like the idea, vote for it. If you don't like it, the idea, then uh, say no, and then we will continue with what does this mean, okay? Are you, are you saying that this discussion is shut off now? Yes, I am. When, when the motion to table is not debatable, <coughs> okay? So. I'm just going to add it now. We'll add it when we get through with the tabling motion. All those in favor of the tabling motion, raise your hand. Twelve and no. Representative McCarthy, you say no. I say no. Why can't okay. you understand about me? I just wanted to make sure of the record that you are there. So now what was intended is as Representative Umberger said, is that we would be able to get a subcommittee together, work at what our policy and procedures are, look at them all, um, be able 
to also get a uh, opinion from a legal opinion, whether it's from county attorney, association of counties, or if we want to wait forever from the AG, um, then for what the RSAs are and the procedure and um, put those all together and come back and talk to us. I think that it's going to take a while to have this done. I do know that um, we normally, now that we have finished our duties um, and for the budget, that we now don't come back to see you till sometime in, we want to- Six months from now. <laughs> what we would like to do is be able to know when the first quarter budget is, you know, how you do the first quarter. And I can't remember when that is. I would say if you want to come back in May. In May? Okay. May or June? Yeah. So that then we would come back and perhaps at that time we would at least have the questions framed for what we want to do and um, be able then to go forward and continue. And then by the time we come to September, um, and we are with the commissioners and we're sitting as a whole delegation that we will bring the issue up. Hopefully we will have the issue by then and figure out what we want to do. So that is my intention. Does anybody in the, on the delegation um, have an interest in being on the committee? Representative McCarthy, I assume that you would like to be here. On what committee is that? The committee to look at your, regu your policy and procedure. No. No? You don't want to. Okay. Okay. Um, anybody else? Uh, Representative Treganza and Representative Schmidt. Sounds good. Those are, I may, I may appoint others as, as needed and figure out what we need to do. So, okay. That's, um, that's good. Representative Treganza, you have an issue that you, oh. I need to make something in charge of this. Well, let me, I'll think about it in a minute. Okay. If anything, I'll probably be the <coughs> will be the chair of it, so thank you. Yeah. Um, and uh, yes, Representative McCarthy. Yes, I, um, I'd like to make another motion that we we urge the county commissioners to promulgate rules relative to the transfer of appropriation. There's a motion by Representative McCarthy to urge the commissioners to make rules for appropriations. Transfer of appropriation. Is there a second to that? A second. Okay. Representative Merrill um, Algren. I don't have I don't have a problem with that at all. But my only question is, shouldn't we wait before we do this and see what kind of a see what the committee comes up with? Because it might be entirely opposite of anything that they might come up with. That's my only comment. That's a good idea. Okay, Representative Alden. Uh, I think my comments are, are similar. I I believe that I don't really have a problem with it per se. If Representative McCarthy, this kind of a clarifying question to his mo to his motion statement was that your motion would be strictly in regards to their department heads making any changes within their own departments from line items? Is that your urge to them? My, yes, to urge the county commissioners to promulgate rules referencing the <coughs> rules of uh, appropriations from line item to line item by department heads, appointed or elected. Thank you very much for that clarifying statement. Yeah. By and department. I, by department. <laughs> okay. We're not, we're, not, we're not forcing them to do it. We're just urging them to do it. Mm -hmm. Did you ever ask the commissioners if they already have a policy that regards this? I, 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 I did ask the chairman of, of the commissioners, and he said they have a policy where they requested from they get permission from the convention to do it, but they do not have a policy that goes down to the department heads. Is that true, Commissioner? Madam Chairman, Chairman, we control all of the departments with the exception of the elected officials. Okay, they have some power.
power to do their own budget to some degree. For example, the sheriff's department, you can't touch certain items within the sheriff's department. The problem was the only exception. Uh, the the uh, county attorney is also included in that. Um, we can control the spending. No question about it within those that we control that are not elected. I have an answer for that. Yes, go ahead, Representative I, I disagree with that statement. I read the opinion of the state Supreme Court that says, no, the commissioners do have the authority over the budget. In elected, and, if, and that was directed at a... a, a and that was a, only for a sheriff, and that was case-specific for the sheriff. So I think we it need to be... It was for the sheriff, and it yeah. said that the but we also have other elected officials. We have a register of probate. We have a county attorney. We have, and I don't know, Richard Deeds. Well, yes. the RSA say elected or appointed. So, um, I think what I'd like to do is have the most, the motion is to urge the commissioners to make rules regarding transfer of appropriations by departments um, made by Representative McCarthy, second by Representative Panza. Is there a second? If there is a second. All those in favor, raise your hand. Six. All those opposed? Six, six to seven motion dies. So what we have is I think that we will be looking at the subcommittee to be able to come up with what it is that we want to do. Is there a first night? Is there anything else on my agenda? Oh, yes. Representative McCarthy and Humberger have issues in it. Representative Alden, you do too? I didn't remember that. Okay, Representative Humberger. I have an issue. I just have comments. Yes, comments. Okay. Okay. Yes. I, have, I have lots of issues. <laughs> uh, uh, at the beginning of the meeting, there were some comments made that uh, about the, uh, the budget and uh, the, the state budget. And I assume that the person that was making the comments was referring to the governor's budget and not the House's budget. The first comment is that nobody understands Karen sits on finance. One of the first uh, delegation members that have sat on finance for uh, since I began. So the comment was made about downshifting to the community. The budget that is going for a vote fully funds building aid, which the governor did not. It, fu it, fully, yes, it fully funds catastrophic aid to the schools, which the governor's budget did not. The governor's budget said no money from the state for retirement at the local level. Don't ask me the figure. <laughs> but we did put money into help to pay for the retirement system for anybody that's in the retirement system. We also eliminated the surcharge on vehicle registration. So I would suggest that anyone that doesn't like these things or other things about the budget can put their $10 that the county saved and the $30 that you save on your vehicles and give it to one of the nonprofits that everyone discusses has been hurt. And if we all put our $30 registration fee to nonprofits that are needed for health and human services, over the two years, it would account for $90 million, which would significantly help those agencies that are in trouble. But we cannot do that from our point of view because it is highway money versus general funds money. And you can't transfer highway money to general funds money. So that needs to be done. But I will only say that the downshifting that was in the governor's budget <coughs> is not occurring in the house. 